Does summer get you off your schedule and your attention just go down the drain? I encourage you to keep healthy habits going over this summer. Consistency really matters. So today I'm going to be giving you five tips to keep yourself healthy and reaching your goals. In summer, we just have a different rhythm, but we still need to create some rhythm in our days that allows us to prioritize our health. So we want to keep our health at the forefront and how can we create rhythms in our day and intentions for our summer that so that we are still reaching our health goals that we have for ourselves. Hi friends and welcome to the Healthy Beyond 40 show. I'm Michelle, mama four and military wife. And I'm passionate about helping women get healthy from the inside out so they can feel better and live their best life. Do you feel like you're struggling to lose weight and get in shape? If you're ready to develop healthier habits, exercise consistently, and lose weight sustainably, then you're in the right place. I combine my expertise from my doctorate in physical therapy to my experience as a health coach, personal trainer, and yoga teacher to bring you actionable steps for a healthy lifestyle. No magic pill here, so lace up those shoes and get moving. All right, so let's dive into these five tips today. So number one is to really plan for parties and vacations. Because a lot of times with summer, we have so many different things going on. And especially when we get out of our routine, when we're around other people and we don't have our normal schedule, we tend to do things that we normally wouldn't do. So we really have to plan and be intentional for this. So for parties that you're going to, it might be thinking about what can I eat before? So I'm not going to this party hungry. Or what can I bring to this party so that I have something healthy to eat? making sure that you are prioritizing getting some protein in and some vegetables and different things like that. And also, if you have vacations planned, how can you have more planning and attention around vacations? Instead of just saying you're going to eat whatever, can you bring a healthy breakfast with you? Can you come up with a plan or some accountability when it comes to sugar or treats or drinking? So that you're just not going into this vacation mindlessly, putting your health on the back burner and feeling like you have to start all over again. How can you create some parameters for yourself for a vacation that allows you to have fun and enjoy, but not go out of choice with what you want for your health? So if it's not really in choice for you to have muffins for breakfast, then maybe you want to be very intentional in making sure that you have a healthy breakfast for yourself. A lot of times when we're traveling or we're going on vacations, we bring food with us. So, you know, a cooler or in a hotel, we might have a mini refrigerator, but thinking about what foods that you can bring with you if you are going on vacation. So tip number two is keep water a top priority. This is one thing that is fairly easy that makes a pretty big difference because when you're hydrated, you're going to have more energy. You're also going to feel more full and not overeat as much. And also with summer and the heat, it's important to not get dehydrated. So especially if you're sweating or you're outside, you're going to need to drink more water than usual. So think of how you can keep water one of your top priorities throughout the summer. One thing that I always do to start my day well is I have 16 ounces of my green juice. I love Organifi's green juice. It also has a clinical dose of ashwagandha, which is an adaptogen herb that helps with stress relief plus all the other micronutrients and different greens that they have in there. And then I have my Zenzino fish oil and their Extend multivitamin immune support. So I have these habits that keep me healthy, but that green juice is really a great way to get water in right away in the morning. So not only getting water, but I'm also getting the benefit of the adaptogen herbs and the greens in there. And then I add collagen protein powder to that. I usually squeeze a lemon in it. So make sure that you have these strategies in place so that you're getting enough water and you're really starting your day with enough water too. And in the description down below, I'll have a link for Organifi. If you use the code HEALTHY20, you guys are going to save 20%. I'll also have links to my favorite fish oil and immune support. Number three is prioritize your sleep. So a lot of times, again, when we're off our schedule or there's fun things that we're doing or we're staying out later, we're not getting enough sleep. And what happens when we don't get enough sleep is we're tired and then we tend to overeat. Stress hormones go up in our body 
And then we also don't make as good of decisions. So if we're tired and we're exhausted, our brain isn't going to be at its peak. So we want to make sure that we are still prioritizing sleep, that there might be things that are late at night that maybe you turn down, or maybe you make sure that you sleep in or that you're not doing late night things a couple nights in a row, whatever that's going to look like for you. I know I'm a person that needs my sleep. I really need a good amount of wind down time before I go to bed too. Everyone's a little different, but notice that if you're not sleeping as well, you're not going to be taking care of your health as well. You're going to be kicking off those hormones in your body. So how can you prioritize sleep? And do you know where this becomes an issue for you specifically in the summer that maybe you tend to go out more, whatever it is. And now I want you to think, how can I be more intentional about this and be proactive? All right, tip number four is to prioritize protein and fiber daily. So whether you're normally at home or you're traveling is thinking about how can I keep prioritizing protein and fiber? And when I'm talking about fiber, it's just a great way that we need to eat more whole foods. So fruits, vegetables, like real whole grains typically have more fiber, beans, and we're eating more like that. We're eating in a healthier position. And when you're thinking about prioritizing your protein and fiber, what quick snacks can you have with you? Do you need to keep some things in your purse if you are out later so that instead maybe you're grabbing a beef jerky or some protein bar instead of stopping at a coffee shop and grabbing a muffin and a coffee. So sometimes even those quick snacks we might have with us, maybe they're still a little processed or something, but they're going to be a lot healthier than grabbing a muffin or these different types of things out. So how can you prioritize protein and fiber? And what is that going to look like for you? Tip number five is keep up with movement. So for most people, movement's a little bit easier in the summer. We're just out we're moving more. So I want you to keep up with that movement. Maybe think, how could I move a little more this summer? But also more importantly, I want you to have a plan for your strength training and or yoga. So we want to continue to building that muscle. So we might naturally walk and do other things like that a lot more, but we really need to be intentional around building our muscle mass. So how can you can create a plan for your strength training practice? And again, if you guys know me, we can keep it simple. You guys can do five, 10 minutes. You can do up to 30, but you have to stay consistent. So I know I hear from some people, they're like, yeah, I'm going to go to the gym three days a week for like an hour, hour and a half. And that's great. But also you don't even have to do that. Imagine if you just do 20 minutes, you know, five days a week, switching between strength training and yoga and really staying consistent, doing that at your home. So it's not a big deal. It's going to take less time and it's going to help you to develop more consistency. So it doesn't have to be long workouts. And the great thing about strength training is you can do it with your body weight. So things like squats, I mean, think how hard a push up is. That is body weight. Yoga, if you're doing a yoga for strength training, you are just using your body weight. Also, bands are a great thing to travel with for the summer, so you can pack those so you're getting some extra strength training in. So keep it simple and don't make excuses, but make sure you have a plan for your strength training. So inside my personal training app, I'm able to customize workouts for clients. So this means that when they're traveling, some people ask for body weight workouts, so yoga and maybe things with bands or without bands, but we come up with this plan so that they can stay consistent while they're traveling. Maybe they'll work out a little bit less, but they're still gonna have some consistency because it makes them feel better and they want to stay in that routine. For a lot of us, it doesn't really feel good when we get totally out of our routine and we're not doing what makes us feel better, even though like sometimes we think it will. For example, this is a little different, but the same idea. I remember for a while, like I would on a Saturday morning watch TV in my bed before I got out, like, because I really don't watch that much TV. I thought that would be fun. But every time I did that, it was like a crappy day. It did not make me feel good. Like, I thought that would be fun and relaxing and a way to do something a little different, take a break. But it wasn't. It just didn't start my day good. So think about even though if things sound fun to do or not to do, what is actually going to make you feel better? So if you guys need support, When it comes to exercise and you guys would like to be one of my personal training clients, there will be a link down below. I use a personal training app so you guys can do workouts at 
your own time. I customize it for you. You can message me. So there'll be a link down below if you guys need some support during that for the summer. All right, so let's go over these five different tips because the goal is to create some rhythm and some consistency throughout your summer, even though it may look different. So one is plan for those parties and vacations. It doesn't have to be perfect, but put some intention, put some planning around those. Two, keep water a top priority. Make sure that you are drinking enough. You have a water bottle with you. You're starting your day off with some water. Three, prioritize sleep so that you're not getting overtired stress and making poor decisions. Number four, prioritize your protein and your fiber daily, especially when you're traveling. Make sure you have some healthy snacks with you. And five, make sure that you are keeping up with your strength training throughout the summer. I would love it if you guys head to my Facebook group, Healthy Beyond 40, and share what your intention is. What do you want to really focus on this summer? Is there a certain tip that stood out for you? Share it in the group, have some accountability, and encourage one another. All right, friends, keep on moving and have a great day.